Okay, something to consider as time passes after this shooting is how Fifth Third and its employees will handle this tragedy in the long term. That's right. Nine on your side's Dan Monk joining us here and taking a look into the corporate response from an internal angle. And Dan, we know this Fifth Third Center has multiple entrances uh, and, and exits. There are unarmed security guards there. Fifth Third has come out in support of the fast response, obviously, from Cincinnati PD. What are they looking at already, say, moving forward? Well, one thing they've known and stated today is that their employees followed every protocol. One of the interesting things I found while researching this story was that I interviewed several experts on, on how companies can prevent uh, these kinds of incidents mm -hmm. and what they should do afterward. Virtually every piece of advice those experts gave me, Fifth Third was already doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty interesting uh, exposure to this topic that you really don't think about that often. So how have other companies handled something like this in the past? Well, a lot of uh, training, like the piece John just mm -hmm. did, a lot of companies will do this kind of training inside their uh, workforce. Uh, where to go if a shooter shows up, how to notify police, how will employees be notified. Uh, all of these things are thought out in advance. Fifth Third had a pretty aggressive plan and they did regular training. And I think that's one reason why uh, the life loss was as low as it was. It and it almost has to become automatic, like our first responders yeah. respond on a regular yeah. basis for this. And we saw those quick actions and those instincts, that training kicked in yesterday. Sure. The same goes for employees. So with that said, is Fifth Third already taking a look at their current security current training and, and yeah. taking those steps to move forward? They have looked at it, but they haven't done the full debrief. Sure. Right now they're m more focused on the families uh, sure. and the victims, and uh, they're focused on their employee base providing counseling. They mm -hmm. had uh, a team of counselors on site downtown um, today, and they will again Monday, and they say if they need more, they'll stay. Mm -hmm. And um, they're telling employees to talk to their managers about how they're feeling, and if they need more time off than they've been given already, uh, you know, that's an option as well. Mm -hmm. So they really have followed all of these uh, protocols that the experts say uh, is necessary, including the direct involvement of CEO Greg Carmichael. They say that's a big, that's a big thing that employees look for is the leadership supporting them. And yesterday, Greg Carmichael had several messages that he sent directly to employees in writing Today, he spent most of the day visiting Fifth Third offices and just talking to employees about, you know, how they're feeling. Yeah, and I'm sure that that reaction will be a template for the future. Definitely.